Hey, finally, the box came. After running all over the country and back, I don't know what the heck is with FedEx. They drive within 75 miles of my house, and then they go the wrong direction down to Dallas and come all the way back. while I've got this car opened up, I thought I might as well kind of go through the steps of how you change one of these back windows in a 58 full-size car, two-door post. So let me gather up some pieces real quick and we'll just show you how it goes together. Let's see. This one, maybe that one. Mm. This piece, this piece, and that'll work. And that'll work. All right. You see, I stripped off the side of the car just for this. All right. Let me grab a glass. We'll show how it goes together, and you'll understand understand how it comes apart. This while I'm doing this, that would be terrible. All right. Now, I may or may not be wrong, but you've got old glass in there, so you want to get it out. And I found that the easiest way to do that is good old window deleter 40, better known as WD 40. All right, now I sprayed a little bit of that on this here to get this window to slide down in the track there. So we've got our glass. The next thing we're gonna need is the channel. Just roll that up a little bit. Not like so. Stick that on there. I'm trying to get it to roll up into it. There it goes. I can do this one handed, it's kind of hard. It's hard enough two handed. There. Up, up, not this up, the other up. There. Okay, I've got that channel on there now. Slide it forward a little bit. Let's pretend it goes like so. Okay, we got a window channel on there. Slide it up. Now this channel is actually the one from the other side. It's got little tabs on there. Okay. Those will all have screws on them. And you'll need to take those off. So let's put this on. This is the chrome that goes up next to the door. Got that. Now, that's, that's good, right? Now, I'm gonna skip the whole inside trim part of it, but there's trim that goes around the inside. And this one goes on the outside. And of course, how did I do that? I got the wrong one of those, too. I'm trying to dress this up, but we gotta make the video last, so I'll just keep doing it twice. All right, now we got the right one. Cleaner. Can't you just look at the car a little bit? You won't even look at it? You want to talk about it? Okay. I guess she, she's not approving. Okay, this one goes on the top here. And you can see how the... 
these screws or these slots will screw up to the top of the frame. Now, let's say it's all together and you've got your window trim on the inside and the outside. So you roll your window down, you take these off. I'm gonna put it on though, just to be backwards. There, it's on. Now by golly, this is terrible camera work, terrible. I'm fire my tam I would fire my camera guy, but it's me and then nobody would do the work. It's purdy, it's like it's supposed to be. Generally your door panel is on here, that's on there. Your sail panel is there. Let's get inside. So if you're gonna take this out, the first thing you wanna do is remove all this trim that goes around your window. There's a piece that goes up and down here, take it off, all the trim across the top, and everything's gotta come off of here because this plate needs to come loose. So let's, I've got that screwed down. There's three screws here. You can take this plate out, all right? That'll give you, now with all the trim off, you've got access to the screws for the chrome and the screws for the, the window channel. So take the, all the screws out. I suggest bringing a good screw gun and a good bit. There's a lot of screws. Your trim screws in here, that trim screws there, those screw in there, all the screws up in here. Get all that loose. And there's a, there's one at the bottom, you don't have to worry about it, unless it goes through the trim. That, that holds the bottom section of the channel. So you've got all that out. you got the chrome off the outside. Take some WD-40 and square it across there. Get the old glass out. And you might want to take some uh, Dawn and then wash inside that gasket real good and use, use the dish soap as your lubricant for putting the glass in. Because it will dry and it'll hold that glass. All right, but now you've got all that stuff out on the inside. You've got room to roll the window down a little bit, maneuver and get it out, get the new window in, reinstall your window channel, then your trim, and you're back in business. But here's a chance for you to look at the inside of your window mechanism. Well, I'm standing here and my car's apart. Let me get it rolled. Let's see if we can get a view of this rolling down in these two doors are kind of cool. I'm gonna take all this out of the way so it doesn't fall on my head. The head's already in pain from bashing it just a second ago. All right, as the window rolls down, it slides back. Let me take that trim back off of there. Let's see how far it goes down until it hits this stopper. I'll roll it down and I'll back up so you can see better. And blam! That's the bottom. Now you can see how close the glass is here. So I'm going to want to do a little adjusting. And there's a screw. Where is that bugger? Right here. Yeah, right up here. You can lift that screw up and that'll pull that glass away. But normally this glass would be spaced out a little bit with that uh, fuzzy weather strip on the inside, the sweep as we call it. Well, there you go, now that's what your glass looks like down inside. And hope this helps somebody. Y'all know where to find your glass. If you don't, comment and I'll tell you. All right, thanks for watching this. I'm gonna keep it short. Just a little helper video.